In this video, I'm gonna show you the top 10 things you need to know before moving to Stewart, Florida. My name is Alex Haig and I'm the owner operator of the Alex Haig Group. Welcome to Hey Haig Today. This channel is devoted to all things that have to do with the Treasure Coast and the South Florida area. And if you are curious about property in the Treasure Coast area, please reach out to us, subscribe or comment about content that you would like to see on this channel. Let's get right into the things that you need to know. Now, number one, job opportunities. Now, Stewart, Florida is not that giant metropolitan area that you think about when it comes to all things that come to do with jobs. Well, there are a lot of things here that are great opportunities for young people. Let's talk about healthcare. Let's talk about recreation. And let's talk about retail. All of those things are available here on the Treasure Coast. So we have the Mar Memorial Hospital, which is one of the best healthcare providers in the country, never mind Florida. We have a cardiac unit. We have a cancer facility. There are all kinds of opportunities in that healthcare industry. Dig into the Cleveland Clinic or the Mar Memorial Hospital for that. Now, beach activities. We have a plethora of beaches on the Treasure Coast here in Stewart, Florida. So you can be a lifeguard. You could be a kiteboarder instructor. You could be a surf instructor. You can work at the Hutchinson Island Marriott and take the kids out for sailboat rides and so forth. There are all kinds of adventure activities on the water here. Now, these are just a few examples of the job opportunities. There's many more. Drop a comment below. Give us an idea. Maybe we can help you brainstorm and find you the right job here in Stewart, Florida. Number two, the second thing you need to know, affordability. Now, affordability is a relative thing, right? So I'm talking about affordability compared to West Palm, compared to Fort Lauderdale, compared to Miami. Rents are super high, gas is super high. Affordability, again, compared to Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and West Palm, it's incredibly affordable to live here in Stewart. Now that's Stewart, Florida for you. High-end living at a fraction of the cost. Number three, Outdoor activities. I am gonna get into a list of outdoor activities here. It's a huge passion of mine. I love the paddleboard. I love to golf. I love to go out in the surf. I love to fish. I love to hike. Now picture this, you can go down to Jonathan Dickinson State Park, go canoeing, hiking, biking, and then in the afternoon, you can come and grab some waves down at Bathtub Beach. Now that's Stewart, Florida for you. You could go golfing in the morning and then kiteboarding in the afternoon if you had enough energy for that. Number four, nightlife. Now I know I did a video before that basically says that Stewart doesn't have the uns uns and the phone party. It definitely doesn't have that stuff. But I'm gonna go over a couple of the great spots here that I find excellent to go out to at night. Number one, Terra Fumata. Terra Fumata is a great spot where you can go. They have live music. They also have food trucks outside. I highly recommend the gaffer. Get yourself the chicken and waffles and get yourself one of those high-end cocktails or craft cocktails as they call it. The gaffer is gonna be the place for you. Another great example, which I did in one of my previous videos, the Stewart Boathouse. You can't ask for a better view. You're right in downtown Stewart. You got a view out over the North Fork of the St. Lucie River, and you also can grab the little boat that's down on the water. It's one of the coolest spots in Stewart. My daughter loves to feel like she's the captain of that little dinghy. We love to go to the boathouse. You gotta check it out. Of course, very close to my office here, we've got Sailor's Return. Sailor's Return has one of the best sunsets in town. They actually have a marina there that's called the Sunset Marina for a reason. And also you can spill on over into Gilbert and get yourself a macadamia nut latte. Highly recommend it. Now to round it out, we've got Twisted Tuna. This is in Port Salerno. Now the fish there is absolutely phenomenal. Why is it phenomenal? Because the commercial docks are right down the road. The fresh fish comes in to the docks, then it goes into Twisted Tuna, then it ends up on your plate as sushi or that grouper sandwich that I've been talking about. So contrary to popular belief, this town does not shut down after six o'clock. We do not roll up the streets at 10 o'clock. All of those spots go to at least midnight where you can go and get that live music, you can get that food, and you can get a feel for what a nightlife actually is without being in the uns uns and the foam parties in Miami. Point number five, arts and culture. Now, a lot of people talk about Florida and say that it does not have culture. I completely disagree. Why do I disagree? Well, Stewart is the home of the Lyric Theater. Built in 1929, this place is renowned for its acoustics. You can go and see a show. You've got concerts, you've got theater. All these things are available to you at the Lyric Theater and it has a very, very intimate feel to it. The last time I was there, I actually went and saw the Redneck Tenors. Not something I normally would have gone to, but I went because the Lyric is so cool to see a show at. And you know what? I'm now a Redneck Tenor fan. Now moving on from music to arts, we have the Courthouse Cultural Center. Now at the Courthouse Cultural Center, they bring in all kinds of different exhibits. Now I'm not a super arts kind of person, but I do appreciate going to someplace that exhibits beauty and the Courthouse Cultural Center absolutely has beauty and all different aspects that you can go and enjoy if you're into the arts. 
Now, last but not least, we have the Elliott Museum. They got all kinds of stuff there from natural history, science, all that kind of thing. But one of my favorite exhibits at the Elliott Museum is the antique car exhibit. Now they have refurbished cars back from like 1957 Chevys and all that kind of stuff, all decked out, absolutely beautiful. And they're up on racks and they literally have a jack that goes up, picks out the car and brings it down. You can press the button, 1957 Chevy, and then it goes up, picks up the 1957 Chevy, brings it down and it spins around in front of you. My daughter was absolutely wowed by this, but that's one of my favorite exhibits at the LA Museum. Number six, weather. Now I know you're saying, okay, yeah, the weather. Well, Florida is all about great weather, absolutely. But remember, there's multiple climates in Florida. If you just drive an hour and a half north up by Cocoa Beach, it's actually where the frost line goes. Actually, the lower third of Florida is actually in the tropics and Stewart is in that. Now, Miami is of course, Fort Lauderdale is of course, but remember, you don't get all of those other things combined with that weather. You don't have the congestion, the affordability that you have here. I think that weather is a very important thing here to understand as well. Remember, we're below that frost line so it makes a huge difference again 10 to 15 to 20 degrees is a big difference number seven community events and one of the best community events that we have here is the arts fest of stewart at the art fest these are things that you can buy from jewelry to paintings to wood the stewart art festival is one of the absolute best that i've seen in south florida now we're talking about community events the stewart seafood festival this has everything so it's got art exhibits it's got food, it's got music, it's got all the things that you're gonna to wanna to take your kid to, you're gonna to wanna to take people in from out of town, or maybe you can just go down there by yourself. The Stewart Seafood Festival is absolutely phenomenal. And I recommend the curry mussels there or the coconut encrusted calamari. Yeah, I said coconut encrusted calamari, not shrimp. You've gotta check out the Stewart Seafood Festival, it's a must. Now talk about community events, let's talk about dancing in the streets. You like dancing, you like food, you like music, dancing in the streets is gonna be for you. Now literally for downtown Stewart's dancing in the streets, they shut down all of downtown Stewart. For the arts festival, they only shut down one street. Dancing in the streets, they literally shut down all of Stewart. They got bounce houses for the kids, they got beer trucks, they got food trucks, they got music, they got arts, all kinds of different little things that you can do with the kids and listen to some great music, have a couple of beers, dancing in the streets is absolutely phenomenal. You gotta check it out. Now rounding out community events, we have the Stewart Air Show. Now, one of the coolest things at the Stewart Air Show is the Harrier Jet depicted right here. Now the Harrier Jet, if you've never seen one before, actually can take off off the ground like a helicopter. It actually points the jets down and then it moves the jets and it goes forward. It is really something very, very cool to see. I used to watch them when I was a kid on TV and to actually see it in person, super phenomenal. Now, another thing that they have there is one of the Red Bull test pilots. This guy can actually flip a plane over end over end. Great for the kids. Highly recommend the Stewart Air Show. Number eight, education. Now, Indian River State College is very, very close to here. It's actually up in Fort Pierce. So you can actually live in Stewart and have all that kind of nightlife stuff. Go up to Indian River State College. They have a plethora of different degrees that you can apply for there. I'd highly recommend checking out the Indian River State College also. I check out the Palm Beach State College. Now, Palm Beach State College is very, very close. It's only 30 minutes away. They have a bunch of different degrees there. So if you wanna to go to Indian River State College, it's only 30 minutes north. You wanna to go to Palm Beach College, it's just only 30 minutes south. Now, we also have FAU, Florida Atlantic University. That's only 25 minutes south. They actually have a campus in Jupiter. So I think that that is another great reason to be here in Stewart, Florida. We have all the other things that I talked about from the activities, from the nightlife and all that. And then you're only 25 minutes away from one of these great colleges. Now, number nine, major cities. Now, think about a small little town, Stewart, Florida, which has all the things that I just talked about with your nightlife and your food and your arts and all that kind of stuff. We have a small community, but you have access to these larger cities like Orlando, only an hour and a half away. You got Disney, you got Epcot, you got Universal. And then you have Fort Lauderdale, where you have the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, you got the nightlife and all that kind of stuff. And then you think about Miami, the biggest little city in South America, that's Miami. Miami's got everything that you possibly could want. So that's another reason why I really love living in Stewart. I don't want to live in a big city, but I want to have access to them. And only being an hour and a half away from Orlando, an hour and a half away from Miami, I don't think you can be in a better place. Now, number 10 really rounds out this whole list. It is quality of life. You are not gonna find a better quality of life 
than you're gonna find here in Stewart, Florida. I have been all over Florida. I've been up into the Panhandle, I've been up in the Northeast in Jacksonville, I've been in the Southwest, and they're all great. Don't get me wrong, Florida is incredible. Yet the quality of life that you're gonna get here in Stewart, Florida, low crime, great schools, great hospitals, low traffic, affordability, all these reasons round out. Number 10, quality of life. It's a lot of different things that make quality of life and Stewart, Florida has them all. Now, if you like this content, if you like this piece, if you wanna know more about Stewart, if you wanna know more about the Treasure Coast, please drop me a comment below. Now, I'm getting a lot of comments slash questions out there. Is the market going to crash? Should I wait six months to buy in Stewart, Florida? Well, I'm gonna let you know. Check out this video here, or if you wanna know about one of our other great areas to live in, I got a video right here on Jupiter. So I'll see you in those videos. And until the next time, I'm Alex Haig with Hey Haig Today. Thanks for watching.